What's good people, good old fashioned voiceover. This is my deload workout, my deload arm workout. And I'm just gonna kind of talk about what the deload is and why we do it and all that kind of jazz. So I've been doing the Wender 531 program alongside with some bodybuilding stuff. And I think I did two and a half training cycles of the Wender 531. After each training cycle, you're meant to do a deload. I did not do this and for everyone that's asking what is a deload, a deload is where you take the stress off the muscle. It's really hard to just keep pounding heavy weight for high reps all the time and it soon takes its toll on you. Warranted my nutrition hasn't been great, my water's been up there but my nutrition hasn't been great, my sleep hasn't been great especially with Elijah here now so it's been tough. But at the same time, I was hammering it and I didn't take the deloads when I was meant to. Just a lighter week. Just, you don't hammer it. You go down to about 40% of your one rep max and you just rep light. You know, just to keep everything functioning, just to keep the muscles working, but you're not looking to stress the muscles, if you get what I mean. It's just a nice, easy workout. So I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't take the deload when I was meant to and it kind of forced me into this stage because I got into the gym, I was ready to hit legs, I was amped up, I was ready to go and then I got, <laughs> I got underneath the squat rack and literally I felt like a baby learning to walk again. I was like, uh, so what do I do here? Uh, and you want me to bend my legs and sit my hips and open up the hips? I, I don't understand. Do I wear these shoes, these squat shoes? I. I don't, I don't really get it. And it was literally like I'd never squatted before. And I went to deadlift after that. 250 felt like a ton of bricks. It felt so heavy. I was like, my legs were shaking as if I was hitting the 290 that I'd just done not long before. So it was just a clear sign that I needed to take a break. And sometimes you need to listen to your body and just know when you have to take a break when you need to just ease off a little bit take a deload week during that deload week eat well drink well and not alcohol i'm talking about water or water sorry water because we're british uk hmm pip pip tally ho but anyway that is my story of the deload listen to your body the body don't lie but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.